दिस इज ऑल इंडिया रेडियो मैंगलोर युवा वाणी डियर यंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टूडे इंग्लिश युवा वाणी प्रोग्राम इन टूडे प्रोग्राम रेसिस्टेंस एंड पोस्ट वॉर फिल्म अ ग्लिम्स बाय जोशी दिव्या Dear friends the hovering clouds have started pouring down rain the rain of blood death and suffering it is quite ironical that they call it war theater yes now eastern europe is transformed into a ghastly stage for dance dance of death to the horrendous tunes of war machines the world has reacted in utter disbelief The defining moment for the future is how the intelligentsia reacts to the present but it is quite disappointing to see how the present intelligentsia is reacting to the crisis it is maliciously silent hopelessly biased and cunningly polarized we common people watch the mayhem on big and small screen feeling nothing letting nothing to sink in did the intelligentsia react differently in the past that is an interesting question here is our good friend joshi divya reviewing some of the classic movies produced in europe after the world war 2 she has done a commendable job in analyzing the canvas of absurdity futility and meaninglessness that went into the creation of such classic films now over to joshi divya with her talk resistance and post war films a glimpse soon after the fall of the fascist regime of masseloni Filmmakers found a way to express their concerns over real issues causing the moral and social destruction of the post second world war Italy. They wanted to emphasize on the transformation taking place in the Italian psyche after the war. With a minimal budget, films were produced and the fact that the films had non-professional actors and were shot at real locations and not in the sets or studios heightened the intensity of the watching experience as it brought the films much closer to real contemporary italy which was wrought in economic social and political turmoil there was a desperate struggle for survival as the dire consequences of the second world war unemployment and poverty had affected the post second world war italy The directors of this school depicted vibrant accounts of the hidohat unknown facets of Italian society. The ultimate focus was on the socialist ideology in which the idea of equal share of wealth to all those belonging to different parts of the society became the mantra. Therefore, to highlight this central idea, the filmmakers of the Italian neorealist cinema attempted to bring the movie as close to reality as possible for that reason casting non professional actors avoiding intensely composed background music and shooting the footages in real location became very necessary roberto rossellini is hailed as the pioneer of neo realist cinema in his critically acclaimed film rome open city 1945 He had made use of natural lights, long shots and unprofessional actors. The fact that the film was made as soon as the Second World War was over allowed Rossellini to shoot the film in the streets of Rome that were bombed and desolated. Since the movie is shot in actual war affected locations, it achieved a documentary realism kind of style. which presented very realistic commentary on the impact of the second world war on rome the film takes place in rome in the last few years of the second world war rossellini's intention is to depict the idea of resistance against the enormous forces of evil he achieves this through a metaphor of ordinary people from the city of rome uniting against the nazi regime The film also focuses on actual problems such as hunger, poverty and unemployment created after the fascist occupation. His next film, Paisan 1947, depicts the struggles of the Italians while the allied forces arrived 
as the german powers were still dominating in italy the film is divided into six stories each giving a social commentary on the chronicles of italy during the final years of the war the final installment among the post war trilogy germany the year 0 1947 was released in the year 1947 In this film Rossellini's attention shifted from post-war Italy to desolated Berlin after the end of the Second World War. The film does not shy away from depicting the tragic lifestyles of unemployed men who worked for the Nazis before the war ended. Rossellini also uses the apocalypse image as a metaphor to illustrate the impact of the Second World War on mankind. The fatal collision of the Nazi ideology on an innocent young mind is profoundly depicted in the film. Rossellini, who is hailed as the father of the neorealist movement, believed that realism is an artistic form of truth. Therefore, his films reflect the political turmoil of the then war-torn era. Rossellini influenced great many filmmakers to make use of the film as a vehicle of artistic expression to respond to the events that affect the social as well as political conditions Vittorio De Sica 1901 to 1974 is also one of the most important filmmakers from Italy who can be defined as a prominent figure in the neorealist movement De Sica films challenged the escapist movies which did not reflect the social problems his groundbreaking film the bicycle thieves 1948 is regarded as the best work that comes under neorealism in the film bicycle thieves the story is narrated through the sufferings of the protagonist antonio ricci who belongs to the working class when his bicycle is stolen in the rome of second world war period the authorities never come to his aid After being terribly frustrated with his state of helplessness and despair, he steals a bicycle from the street. But the sheer irony of society is revealed when Antonio Ricci is caught in the act of the theft. The Bicycle Thieves focuses on the roots of crime. The film implicates the idea that when social authorities fail to give justice to the working class men, The cry for justice itself takes the form of criminal behavior. The greatness of The Bicycle Thieves lies in illustrating how the socially marginalized voices lose faith in the authority and begin to indulge in anti-social activities when the system does not respond to their problems. With The Bicycle Thieves, the director Vittorio De Sica takes the film to a whole new level. where it acts as a form of expression of the repressed voices of the oppressed the film is a subtle narration on the poverty and unemployment of post war italy war as depicted in the early german films prominent filmmakers in germany embraced expressionism as soon as germany was defeated in the first world war the defeat left germany in a state of destruction and humiliation This glooming sense of despair led to emotional uncertainty, moral disillusionment as well as paranoia. From this despair came emotional uncertainty along with moral disillusionment. To express this fractured state of mind, prominent German filmmakers adopted expressionism as an effective means to depict the psychological state of minds after the First World War. Fritz Lang 1890 to 1976 is the most influential filmmaker from Germany whose initial films made use of expressionistic images to express the ideas of blind fate which is beyond the control of human efforts the german films of the first world war displayed the idea of reality through the poetic mythical as well as fantastic metaphors Though the films of that age did not directly refer to the political and social reality of the then Germany still they attempted to portray the depth of human despair of that time through mysterious metaphors such as devils and occultism and mysterious atmosphere filled with monsters vampires 
साइकोपैथिक सीरियल किलर्स एज वेल एज इंसेन मैन इन लव विद टोटल मे हिम टू अचीव दीज फीचर्स द फिल्म इग्नोर्ड सोशल रियलिज्म एंड एम्फोसिस मच अपॉन सर रियलिस्टिक मीन्स टू रिविल द इनर टर्म ऑयल ऑफ द माइंड फिल्म सच एज द कैबिनेट ऑफ डॉक्टर कैलिगरी नाइनटीन नाइनटीन एंड फर्स्ट नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स सजेस्ट अ न्यू डिस्कवरी ऑफ मेटाफोरिकल एल्यूजन टू सुपर नेचुरल फोर्सेस दैट वुड हेल्प द कोर पार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन नेचर टू रिविल द कन्फ्यूजन ऑफ दैट टाइम द कैबिनेट ऑफ डॉक्टर कैलिगरी वॉज डिरेक्टेड बाय रॉबर्ट वेन ही वॉज ऑफ जियो ओरिजिन इन कैलिगरी He attempts to criticize the brutality of the government forces. The insane hypnotist who uses a sleepwalker to commit murder represents the irrational as well as the cruel authority which mercilessly destroys human values and human rights in order to dominate the society in accordance to its films. Caligari is the earliest predecessor for films in which the director represented the notion of the totalitarian authority of its contemporary by means of fantastic figures in the book titled from caligari to hitler the writer crosser argues that the character of caligari foreshadows hitler's totalitarian mindset caesar the sleepwalker who is blindly following the orders of the doctor without any free will reflects the passive mentality of germans who let themselves be hypnotized by the greatest hypnotists of the nazi regime in order to fulfill their whims according to the arguments of the writer this lack of rebellious attitude against the manipulators is what caused the rise of the nazi party after being hypnotized by caligari caesar shows his unconditional obedience to his master as he kills at the will of caligari without any second thought the character of caesar prefigures the manipulated minds that without any self will went on the paths of other numerous soldiers who murdered millions during the second world war while following the orders of their superiors hans jonwitz the co-author of the film dr caligari expresses the same point of view as he points out that The character of Caesar reflects the soldiers who were sent to the war fields by the German government with only one choice either kill or be killed therefore the cabinet of caligari plays a decisive role in shaping of the film's relations to reality as it anticipates the arrival of the fascist regime during the time of the pre second world war period the film first 1926 directed by F W Munro is also a similar allusion to Germany's embrace of ambition and fascism. The film retells the Faust myth in which Dr Faustus sells his soul to the devil in order to have access to infinite knowledge. The film foreshadows Germany's own renunciation of humanity as well as its blind acceptance of totalitarian regime. with the hope of power and glory munro's most famous as well as widely popular nosferatu 1920 resonates with sexual repression and the general public's dreadened opinion towards the queer as well as strange personalities who is represented here as count dracula the vampire cursed with eternity since munro himself was a secret homosexual in the then homophobic germany His films often echoes the repressed sexual fears as well as the secret lives of queer characters. Fritz Lang's films depicted morbid fears and paranoia created by social uncertainties and psychological fears. The film M 1931 takes the audience into the mind of a serial killer who is unable to restrain himself from the act of killing innocent children. even though the film gives us a bleak picture of the pursuit of a child murderer it actually depicts germany on the verge of accepting nazi regime it gives us a picture of a decadent society in which the characters lack virtue the film is also the best example to fritz lang's hostile reaction towards nazis 
Thus, the film M points out the depiction of the brutal future of Germany under Nazi regime through a series of metaphors that are psychologically dreadful visuals. You have just heard a talk: resistance and post-war films. A glimpse by Joshi Divya.